There have been more arrests today as eco-activists concerned about plans to build a new power station in Kent extended their protest to Essex and Sussex. Hundreds of protesters have spent the last week or so on the so-called climate camp near the King's North plant in Who. They say it's their last chance to help the environment. Tensions are running high between protesters and police as Ian McLaren now reports. This could be a taste of what's to come as protesters from the climate camp block the road leading to Vopac, a depot in West Thurrock, used to store biofuels bound for service stations across the southeast. Eight protesters used lock-on tubes to make it difficult to remove them as they lay joined together on the ground, refusing to move. Soon there was a queue of more than 100 tankers unable to get in or out of the plant. Essex police eventually moved in and forcibly dragged the protesters off the road. We were very quite, quite violently um, pulled apart by the police and there could have been some really, really nasty injuries. Fortunately, my thing clipped, so I only ended up with a cut rather than a dislocated shoulder. More protesters managed to scale a large silo on the site and unfurl the 30-foot banner proclaiming their message. They remained on a ladder, refusing to come down. One of them did emerge to speak to us before the police moved on a group of supporters and the watching media. I've been uh, threatened with arrest unless I left, and we now have four uh, activists locked on on the stairwell. Um, the, the police wouldn't be able to, to pass them without actually cutting them out. Meanwhile, Kent Police this afternoon announced more measures to extend the areas they will stop and search protesters and the public to include the whole of the Who Peninsula. The force's assistant chief constable also announced that a bylaw has been introduced to stop a climate camp regatta planned for Saturday on the River Medway because of safety concerns. I can tell you honestly this is about ensuring the safety of the overwhelming majority of law-abiding residents and protesters in that locality. This isn't about penalising anybody, this is about ensuring people's safety and ensuring the safety of my officers. Climate camp representatives said the new measures wouldn't alter their plans for the weekend. Back in West Thurrock, today's protest came to an end with at least nine arrests. Amid torrential rain, the banner came down, followed by the protesters. Ian McLaren in West Thurrock for Meridian Tonight.